Hi guys, it's Eileen here, and I had a few people ask me how I painted my faux rocks here. Um, so I thought I'd give a quick video. Um, I forgot to do that, and I did say I was going to do a video. So I have these three right here, the toilet paper rocks, toilet paper and glue, that's all it is, and a little bit of water. So if you want to know how to do this, you just look at my um, faux rocks, how I made my faux rocks. So this is them. So I got three. So I'm going to do these three. I'm going to do this one. This. This one. So I looked online to look at like precious stones and, and stuff like that. And the types that were kind of rough. You know, not the shiny sparkly. Um, but when they come right out of the ground kind of look. So now I'm going to do... These three here, and I'm going to put my light on. I hope that doesn't bug you too much, but I need to see. So for this one here, I'm going to start, and I'm going to put my gold base. So I used Dollar Store nail polish. This is gold nail polish. I have my, oops, I have my my dowel, my painting dowel for my stuff here. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. It's going to be a quick video hopefully here that I am um, put the nail polish on first. And you're going to get in the crevices. It's going to need quite a bit. I found that you don't even have to put a coating of anything else on top after. Um, I did put some UT on top, like um, ultra thick embossing. But I didn't really have to do that because it was hard and... Um, so if you don't want to do that, the nail polish should protect it. But if you want to do that just because you want to make sure it's a little more secure for wetness or whatever, like water, then yeah, go ahead. So you can see that I'm just painting. And try to do it higher perhaps. with my nail polish. Maybe I will turn that light off so you guys can see better. Or maybe I could see good enough. It's so it's kind of hard to craft in a certain light and this light when it's dim like this to me yeah, could be getting older. <laughs> I don't know. So, it's going over it really well because there's, you know, and it's looking, the natural toilet paper without doing anything to it looks so much like a rock. I'm going to leave just around the toothpick area there and get that after with some gold. See right around the dowel or whatever. So I'm just gonna get that up with gold after I'll get close as I can without letting it get stuck in my on my stick. And that's all it is. It's just a nail polish. It looks great. I love using the nail polish because it's got that sheen to it and you don't really have to add anything else. Okay, so that's the first layer. And then I'm just going to dry it a bit with the heat tool. As you're drying, you're going to notice a little bit of bubbling up. Especially with the gold, but that's okay. 
for this, it's okay. As long as, you know, you don't hold it in one spot. But for this technique, it's okay because it looks more like rock, like gold in the rock. Okay, so now it's dry. Um, you can notice a little bubbling, but it goes down, so you don't really notice it. Now for the next part on this rock, it's kind of, I'm trying to get the, hmm, the blue to come out. So I have this kind of tealy blue. I think this is the one. I'll check, double check. That I just dry brush on there. Actually, this is the one. This is the one I use. So you just got, and this is all dollar store, and I just scrape, scrape as much nail polish off as I can. And just go over it like, kind of like you dry brushing. Just like that. Make sure you get the ends, the edges, everywhere. So you did that dry brush, you don't like glop it on. I did a little bit of the navy, very little, just to pull that together. So you just go back and forth, wiggle, wiggle, get as much as you can off, and you just dry brush that on a bit there. A little bit of the red. Back and forth, get that off. Is that red or is that orange? It could be a little bit of the orange actually on that. Wrong color for that particular one maybe. We could try it with the orange. I think it actually is the red. Yeah. But you play with your, it's this one I think, not that bright, bright um, fire engine red, but the orangey red. So, yeah, you just play with it, dry brush, put it on a bit. Now if you notice, it looks a little bit colorful. And if it's too colorful, you just go over a tad with the gold. Just a little bit over the gold on the bright spots. And that's it. Then you can go back over your little holes where your dowel's coming out. But that looks good. And that's how I do that one. A little bit more teal in this one, so I'm going to add a little bit more teal. And that's easy. That's what I do with all my colors. The ones that I choose. So I look on line to see what I like to the rock to look like, to mimic what kind of precious stone. And I go for as best I can for the colors of that. Here's another one. And there's so much um nail polish on this one. I can't get through all the weight. But anyways, here's another one. I'm going to do black base. <laughs> Carly telling the dogs to be quiet. Okay, so I'm going to do the black base. This is nice because it's not flat. So if you got nail polish, it works really nice because it's just a nice shine. hold it. We use a lot of nail polish for crafts around here. Between this and uh, um, beads, we do use a lot. So that's why we use the dollar store nail polish. It works well. And when you cover it up, it doesn't like flake off. I've never had a problem with it. 
or so. So yeah, same thing with the, this one. <laughs> Carly telling the dogs to be quiet. So the black works good for the um, this one I saw. I can't remember the names of them all. And then you put the navy blue on. It's a really nice stone and it looks quite similar to the real one when you paint it like this. So I like that, that look. So I don't use the sparkly myself, but I mean if you had like a sparkly gold in here or even maybe silver, it would kind of look like um, precious metals in, I would think, in the stone. And then you just do your other color on top. So now I'm just going to dry this like I did the other one. So I dried this one, and when I use the heat tool, like I said before, I don't know if you can notice this. Um, it, I don't know if you can. I, uh, it bubbles up and looks a little rougher with the heat tool. Um, blow the, you know, so it looks more like a rock than when you just paint it on. It looks so smooth. Just wanted to share that. So for this one here, I did the navy blue. Dry brush that on. And, like, if you make a mistake, you can go over it, so it's not a big deal. There's that. How look how that's look, turning out. That looks great. That looks quite like the real rock. Now we need to add a little bit of the turquoise to it. I like to, um... But you gotta really make sure you get a lot of nail polish off, and just kind of dry brush it on there. Just give it another dimension of blue. That might be a little too much. There, you just rub it off or whatever. We can go over it. You can fix anything. But if you do the dry brush, can you see how it just picks up the lumps, the uh, surface higher up surfaces, and. Yeah, looks great. I added a little, did I add a little silver to this one? I think I might have. I have to turn my light on to see. I think I added a tad of silver to this one. Nail polish, but very little. So I just make sure I get a lot of the nail polish off the brush. Once again, just go over just a tad. Just like that. Just a very little, because you don't want to. Silvery, and that is that stone. And that's that one. You can fix up the holes after it dries. Now this one, this one, I think I used a I think I started off with a very dull, almost gray back. It was actually, I think it was a you can use gold sparkles, you can use anything. And I'm not sure the kids don't have it. Yeah. It might have been this color. But um, I can't remember. So 
So let's go for this color. You can add more. I don't think it was this pink, but we can try it. So I think it was more of a mauvey color. I think the kids have that one. But if I don't like it, I can cover it up. So it doesn't matter, does it? I think it was the more of a mauvey color, like mauve, um, a grayish purple, and then I layered up the colors from there, but we'll try this color. Just used to holding my nail polish and painting. There we go. Just get into the crevices really well. It doesn't uh, expand or anything when you do any paints on here that I have noticed enough anyway. Um, usually I even paint them when they're a bit damp too because I don't have patience. This one's been sitting for quite a few days because um, I forgot about them. I was going to paint them for you guys. <clears throat> So I'm going to dry this one. This is, um, I don't know, the color doesn't look like it's showing through, but it's kind of a, almost a very pale pink. I dried it and I put some silver on it. I'm actually thinking I put a silver base on that one, but I'm trying to look through it. It's really hard when you do so many colors. So I'm going to do a little bit of silver on this one. Isn't that pretty? And just play with it because I've never done this color before and I'm just now kind of playing with it. So there's lots of variations of um, rocks you can do. And so I hope this helped you guys. There's a few people who had some questions and I kept forgetting to. And I was like, oh, I've been doing something. Oh, I got to do what I got to do. I got to finish what I said I was going to do. So sorry it took so long, but this one's actually been used a lot. I'll hold this one up. There we go. Now I don't know. I'm not even using a chart for this one to know what kind of stone it looks like, but it looks pretty cool. So, do a little bit of a teal. Just a tad teal. See how that makes it look? Like I said, if we don't like something, we could always put cover it up again. So it's not the same. I obviously put like a green or silver down first. I think actually it looks like it's got silver background. So but it's really cute. Now I'm going to add some sparkle to this one just because you see how that looks. Like I said, there's no going wrong on here. Um, I did put sparkle gold on some before, so... Just do a little bit of a sparkle pink. 
So now somebody who likes pink. There's only goat milk. You can't use the goat milk. Anyway. There we go. Can you see that color? It looks really cute. I like that. That's my new one. So I hope that was helpful, guys. Thank you very much. And I guess I'll let you go. Bye. Okay, so I know I said bye, but these are my three rocks I just done. I didn't put no embossing powder on them. Um, so that's what they look like just plain without any embossing powder after painting with nail polish. The nail polish is so shiny that you really don't, if you, you know, don't need to put it on. But if you feel like you do, um, this is it with the embossing powder. It's a little more shinier. And I feel like for splashing or whatever, it's a little more protective. So that's why I did it. But depending on what you're going to use it for, you're not going to have your art journal near a sprinkler, right? But um, if you're going to put it as a necklace, you might want to put something on it to protect it if, if kids or somebody's wearing it to unexpected water incidents. <laughs> so that's just a quick little show of how it looks. I didn't do the um, holes yet because I just, like I said, I just. Did them. This one's not even dry. I got nail polish on me. But this is the one that I kind of like. Oh, I couldn't remember what color I put on. I think it's put. I put base of silver. Then I put a mossy type of green on there. I remembered afterwards. And then like a mossy type of green. And then um, a little bit of gold just touch a dry gold brush on there and that's what I did on this one I forgot how I did it I had to turn the lights on and really look at what colors were in it but that's them so thanks guys bye bye